Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what can you expect in love, what are the current energies for you in love, and then we'll look at the energies between you and the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. We'll also look at where all of this is headed in the near future. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Pisces watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies for you, and leave the rest. All right, so let's get into this for Pisces spirit. What's coming Pisces way in love? What's coming Pisces way in love? What's coming Pisces way in love? Oh, I got two. Oh, we got past life, past life connection, X memories. You have had a connection with this person in the past. And hidden motives, deception, hiding, cheating. Someone's hiding their true motives. Whew. Someone from the past here, Pisces, possibly. Hmm. We will dig into that and see what that's all about. All right, for Pisces. What else do you need to know, Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Oops. What does Pisces need to know? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Oh. What is going on? Okay. Okay, we got deception. What else for Pisces? Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship and you deserve love. Bottom of the deck, reconciliation. Interesting, we got two cards about deception. So be very careful, Pisces. Now this doesn't have to be that the type of deception that's like terrible, like someone um, outright lying to you, you know, to hurt you. Um, they could be wearing a mask. They might be uh, refusing to admit how they feel or unable to recognize how they feel. Maybe they need to, or they think they need to lie to you or not tell you the full story about something. But I have hidden motives here. Um, you know, and these two cards have a mask as well. So it could be that someone's wearing a mask and not really being honest or upfront about what they want here. Okay, so let's dig into the tarot for Pisces spirit. This will be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Okay, take what resonates to leave the rest. It might not resonate 100% with you, and that's okay. Um, it might not resonate at all, and that's also okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around, but you can check back next week for more uh, messages for Pisces. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, or subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, we're hitting almost, I think we're, we're at 50,000. So subscribers, that's amazing. All right, Pisces, let's see. What's coming their way in love spirit for Pisces? Okay, we got the five of swords reverse. Okay, what's coming their way in love? Okay, that was way too many. What's coming their way in love for Pisces? Okay, just gonna take these two. Wow, Ten of Cups and the Sun? Okay. Ten of Cups and the Sun. Five of Swords Reverse can be a good card to get reversed. Um, this could be that someone was not able to get away with whatever they were trying to do. Maybe they were caught. Um, maybe there is a reconciliation. Um, there's no longer any fighting. Um, maybe someone's recovering what they lost with the Five of Swords. All right, so let's get into this. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. For Pisces Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Pisces. Help me clarify these messages for Pisces. Why is the Five of Swords reversed here? Five of Swords reverse. Why is the Five of Swords reverse here? Ace of Wands reverse. 
the Five of Swords reverse. Page of Swords. Okay. Someone wants to talk to you um, about what happened. Whatever happened between you and this other person. Someone wants to talk to you about it. It could also be that for some of you, you that are single, love has not worked out for you. Nothing has really officially started for you. And it's like, it never works out. Um, but then something comes in for you. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. Five of Cups. There's the past. Someone could be missing you, regretting the past, feeling sad, remorseful. This could be a disappointment as well. Those of you that are single have probably just been disappointed by love. Could be that you see something online um, that's disappointing. Um, maybe there's something that you regret over, you know, maybe you regret how something happened in the past and you want to talk about it. Tell me more about this page of swords. Tell me more, Spirit, about this page of swords for Pisces. Why is this page of swords here? Why is this page of swords here? Wow, well, we've got the Wheel of Fortune there. Why is the page of swords here? Three of Pentacles. Someone's wondering if this is going to work, if you'll be able to work well together, if this will grow, if this will last. For those of you that are single, because I do think that I'm seeing something here for singles, You've really been wondering if love will ever work out for you, you know, like, is anything going to happen? Is anything going to grow? Um, I keep, you know, meeting people. I'm putting myself out there. Maybe at work, you've had your eye on someone, um, but you, you still are feeling like, you know, is this ever going to happen for me? Either you have your eye on someone already, uh, those of you that are single, or someone has their eye on you with the page of swords. Um, regardless, I feel like this is either going to be communication about working together and seeing if it'll go anywhere or someone's watching you and wondering if they should approach you here wearing a mask. Maybe they, they, you don't know that they feel that way about you. I feel like the past has been really disappointing um, for, for whoever I'm talking to, whether you're single or not. And this is, I feel like, a little turning point, this page of swords. That's why I keep focusing on it, because I feel like this is coming in. I have, you deserve love, and it's like an arrow here. So it could be like Cupid's arrow hitting you, right? But then I also have deception and hidden motives. So, you know, something's a little off here. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Pisces? Why is the Ten of Cups here for Pisces? I really wish I could just not throw cards down. That'd be great. Okay. Okay. So another card about overcoming conflict. Five of Swords reverse. No longer fighting. The fighting is over. People are putting their egos aside and working together. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups for Pisces. What is the Ten of Cups here? Eight of Swords. Someone's blindfolded in this picture. I instantly thought of the mask. There's way too many. Tell me about the Ten of Cups, please. One more. I'm not sure what's going on with my cards today. Ooh, the star, Aquarius energy. Love it. And look what's at the bottom. 
the lovers, Gemini energy. It's about a partnership. It's going to be healing a connection here. Um, it could be that someone's following their heart and whatever choice they're making. They're following their heart. Um, but I feel like they're also overthinking this. Maybe their fear, um, their mind is playing tricks on them, keeping them stuck. Perhaps because of what happened, because there was a lot of conflict or drama in the past. Perhaps there was issues within a family. Um, perhaps someone feels like now that the fighting is over, like, what do I do now? <laughs> um, but I feel like with the star, it's like someone's getting their wish here. The Ten of Cups, a star, this is like a wish being granted and then have the lovers behind that. So I feel like the wish is in regards to a connection or a connection is being healed. The stars about renewal, faith, love, um, hope, healing. Tell me about the sun. Tell me about the sun for Pisces, please. Why is the sun here? Wow. Four of wands. It's like you're going to get everything you want. Tell me about the sun. After everything that has happened, after what hasn't worked, I feel like you're still overthinking it though, or maybe you have doubts about it. Maybe you feel like, maybe you think that someone is having hidden motives or, or, or something, but I don't really see it in the reading yet. Tell me about the sun. What's the sun here? Hermit reverse. Virgo energy. I got one more for the sun. I got one more for the sun, please. Wow. The Empress is also here. Hello. <laughs> Growth, expansion, creativity, love, manifesting, abundance. But then I have the Hermit reverse. So it's like someone's really withdrawn here. Possibly running away from this connection. Um, ignoring their intuition about something. Um, why is the Hermit reverse? Let me just ask. Put this down here. Why is the Hermit reverse? Why is the Hermit reverse? Yeah, it's like someone's running away, but they, they need to come in and talk. Like, look at this. I have the Ace of Swords, Page of Wands. Um, you know, instead of uh, running away and, uh, be, you know, being quiet, they, they might have been, they, someone's thinking about this too, too much, is what I'm thinking. Or is too withdrawn. Um... And it's possibly because they can't really offer commitment, but they can at least talk to you, bring clarity to the situation, clear the air here to get this moving, to get this started. They need to be open and honest. So let's see, what's the potential outcome here? Potential outcome here, please. Or Pisces. Spread. What's the potential outcome here for Pisces? What's the potential outcome here? Potential outcome, please. Potential outcome for Pisces. Okay, rushing in to to talk. Good because we need it. What else for Pisces? What's next for Pisces? These are great cards to get. Queen of Swords Reverse. Interesting. What's next? What's the potential outcome here? For Pisces. King of Cups. 
it's almost like someone's very guarded with the Queen of Swords reverse. And that's because and typically the Queen of Swords reverse can be somebody that is a terrible communicator. Um, they tend to be vindictive and petty and all of that stuff, but it depends also on what other cards are surrounding her. And these two cards are pretty good cards to get. King of Cups, emotionally, emotionally mature, very loving, compassionate, empathetic energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and then the Knight of Swords. Um, they're fighters, yes, but they fight for the truth. They fight for um, what they believe in. They care about the truth. They don't really care about how they deliver the message as long as it's delivered. And it's usually pretty quick, like almost unexpected, whatever they come in with. So I have a feeling that this Queen of Swords is, is either some sort of interference here, or it could be that this Queen of Swords reverse is signifying someone who is um, extremely closed off. Maybe they're not telling the whole truth. Um, they could have been really hurt in the past, and so they they have very strong boundaries, like to the point that they're extremely cold. I'm also getting the sense that there's something that hasn't been said, you know, and I don't know why I'm getting that because I don't really see a lot of the cards here, but it's like when I think of this Queen of Swords reverse, I think of this Hermit reverse, which is really strange. Let me see if I can get some more for this Queen of Swords reverse. Can I get one card for this Queen of Swords reverse? What can you tell me, Spirit? about this Queen of Swords reverse. Tell me about this Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, perfect. The moon, Pisces energy. Thank you, Spirit. So yes, this is someone that's hiding something or something that's not being said. There is confusion. There's mystery. There is something that's hidden beneath the surface. Hidden motives. I don't know if it's, you know, for some reason, I'm not picking up like bad energy from that. I'm really thinking that someone here is hiding how they truly feel. It's kind of like a deception of someone not saying what they need to say when it comes to how they feel. Because I have the King of Cups here. So I feel like someone here, and there you are, Pisces with the moon. Someone's not really telling you how they feel. And this could be you as well. But I think there's a turning point here. I have the Ace of Swords. I have the Page of Swords that starts this off. I have the Star, the Ten of... I mean, these are amazing cards to have. It's like you're going to get what you want. You deserve love. Um, it's probably something new with Flirt as well, like, like new energy. Um, there's a new beginning that's going to be based off of clear, open, and honest communication that I feel is going to lead to something really special here. 